pretty good. And he's pretty much all of his line is our is us for successors. We don't know until we put him into a province because uh, you know there's different rules. They become uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? What's the, what's the word? Uh, They changed to uh, Salic uh, primogenitor, so um, or semi-Salic maybe. I don't know. Uh, when you when you make a new a new uh, province, it or a new uh, county kind of thing, it changes to the one where other people can uh, can inherit. So you don't know unless you're actually in that. So um, yeah. Uh, I will keep an eye on that. <laughs> money lender, money lender, money lender, money lender, money lender. Uh, I just uh, decided to build them all at once, so that's why. <laughs> Yay, we had a son. His name is... Holy God! Cadvalier. 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 That's a pretty cool name, Cadvalier. King Cad of Egyptopia. Awesome. Well, it looks like this guy's got a good track record. Hopefully, we get a bajillion sons. Five or seven. Or three. Th three would be okay. Ooh, looks like uh, this guy's going to be a good marshal. He's going to get, if he gets a good education. Uh, he got one of the stewardship, uh, the stewardship reducing events, so I pulled him up. Otherwise, I wouldn't even notice. Cool stuff. Looks like I accidentally married our sister off. Ah, uh, well. I've got enough boys to deal with it now, but... I need to pay the fuck attention. Getting to the point where... We pretty much built all of our province improvements. Even castles. And as you can see, most of our provinces have large castles, which is awesome. Now, just these two, I don't. And I think this one's the only one eligible to actually do it. Um, that means we can really heavily start giving money to our vassals and saving up for a big war. Let's see how much he needs to build a castle. Okay, we don't have enough to give him a... Uh, enough for a castle, so uh, that's all right. Um, but eventually we will. I mean, we're making about yeah, 200 a month. So uh, this guy needs to get on it. Not even converted it to Christianity. Anyway. Um, this guy's having some kids. Doing his... Doing his business. That kid's pretty good. Oh, he's a... He's a prodigy. Oh, this guy's bad off. That's a nice... That's a nice kid. Wow. Um... And a Breton to boot. With an awesome... Gwyneth... Gwiz... Gwizenegg. Gwizenegg, that's not so hard. Just have to figure it out. And he's playing with the Templars now. Yeah, I figured out why the Templars aren't doing anything. It's because these rebels can't get through their castles. Uh, after you start, after you get past the hill fort, a force like this isn't going to get through a castle. Uh, these provinces can spawn like eight or nine thousand troop guys, especially like Baghdad. Baghdad can spawn a lot of guys, and jeez. Turks are just falling apart. England, what are you doing? And they're probably gonna get Persia. I don't really care. Sicily's gonna give them business to Kozistan here. Corazon. Corazon. Kozistan's over down here. Uh. So that's cool. We'll eventually have to deal with both of them. 
We're pretty much going to be the superpower in the region, so I don't really care uh, what they do. I think as far as king titles go, uh, Mesopotamia, I don't know about Persia, I think Mesopotamia, uh, Jerusalem, Arabia, and then Africa uh, are our three kind of goals at the moment, but it all depends on reputation and how, uh, how many vassals we get. Obviously, we can't control that all, all that ourselves. We're not a, you know, broken-ass republic, so we basically use this number. And I think we can control... We can control two more, but I don't think we want to actually do that. Uh, because we want to pretty much build our, our empire around about 12 or 13. Uh, 12 or 13 intrigues, so that pretty much any king we get will be able to hold things together. Um, with varying degrees of difficulty. Uh, you know, 70% efficiency is, I think, what it would be right now. Um, and then once in 12 years, hopefully this guy lasts more than 12 years, uh, we'll get another province because of the, the year change. Uh, actually, I think two. Uh, because we're a king and our, our modifier is times two. Uh, yeah. We're actually like a triple king. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I doubt that it does. So, that's the situation. It's like little Jakey, please and thanks here, is not going to be a much of a steward. <laughs> that's okay, we don't need him to be. Yeah! Awesome! This is like the best marshal we've ever had. Jakey, please and thanks. Doesn't take any pleasing and thanksing from nobody because he's a stabby guy. Awesome. Oh, and if you're wondering where she came from, well, she's married to Yehan here. So, but he just got stabbed in the face by Michael here. Oh man, it looks like deserts can't build water wheels. That's stupid. On the friggin' Nile. I come and can't. Uh. Whatever. What the fuck ever. When's the next time we get a good province? It's not in the desert. Never. Oh, okay. If we capture these islands. Well, she's. I think that all of North Africa. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Look at this. You'd think all of North Africa is friggin' desert. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyway, back to stuff. We had another son. Yay! Two egg. Just getting weirder and weirder names here. I think I used up all the Antons and and Jacquezes. Well, Jacquez is a pretty weird name. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah. We're gonna be weird names central for a while here. Yay, we got the in love with your wife thingy. Awesome. Reduces our intrigue a little, but you know. It's alright. We're not really looking to grab that many more provinces anyway. Maybe one or two. And 70% efficiency is enough, so... I think we can get five and still be at 70. So, I'm not too worried about our intrigue. Our diplomacy went up, which is nice. And we get the really nice events with our wife. Plus, it's a bonus to piety, which is always good. Uh, so, yeah. I like that event a lot. Let's hope we get the... All the... Uh stuff from it, like, like stuff. Okay, um, well, we have a chance to raise the child. We're going to, since we have money now, raise the child ourselves. And hope we didn't lose the, uh, the uh, uh, fertility and health. Yep. 
Hope he doesn't want toys. Oh, Mecca is not a desert province either. Which is weird, because in real life it is a desert. I think it needs a church. I forgot to marry Jakey. Please and thanks off. Uh, I think I'll take care of that. Alright, we got a really good uh, chancellor out of the deal. That's one of the things you can do uh, if you get a lot of people is uh, when you marry the boys off, you can get some really good uh, you get some really good um, chancellor stewards and spy masters. Nearly almost almost always these three, three posts will be filled with women because uh, you can just get better ones through uh, marrying rather than raising it. Notice I'm not really caring all that much about the uh, the uh, culture um, because I've converted most of my provinces to Breton and unless the king himself is uh, not Breton uh, we won't have a problem of it changing away from Breton so we can always have a chance of having Breton kings even if our, our kind of dynasty changes culture um, and we could always deny the events that make it change to our king's culture. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I'm just wondering why this guy hasn't converted any of his provinces to anything. I mean, he started with this pro province as a Muslim. Maybe his son will do better. I don't know. Uh, it's like he's doing well. He's got a lot of, a lot of sons. It looks like uh, none of them have got. Yeah, she got. He got. Well, her gamble paid off with the uh, interfamily marriage because none of them were inbred, so. But as I th kind of thought they wouldn't be. Uh, so that's good. Uh, hope this guy uh, succeeds him soon so we can start converting more provinces. Uh, I think this one was just a fluke or something because uh, he hasn't converted this one in a while. Or maybe it's because I changed that of uh, regal supremacy and stuff, so whatever. Actually, I, I've been kind of thinking about what I'm going to do after this. I know I'm going to do a... a uh, uh, looks like I've got some extra troops. I know I'm going to do a Europa Universalist thing where I convert uh, this thing to it, if the converter will work. Um, but I'm kind of thinking of doing a... Kind of a side thing. Okay, we had a we had a daughter. Wait, that no, wasn't him. Whatever, whoever that was had a daughter. He hunted. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some uh, like obscure NES games. Maybe a uh, maybe some Civ Four. Uh, or you know. Uh, Just kind of things I'm thinking about. Uh, um, just to kind of cleanse the palate, I guess, a bit. Uh, or I might do another Crusader Kings game. I like Crusader Kings, so maybe something different. Maybe something in Russia, or, or you know, uh, do a Byzantine game where I try to hold the Byzantine Emperor together. That would be cool. Uh, Maybe try to get one of the uh, Muslim war things to work, or play like the one Jewish duke at the beginning of the game, and try to try to get him uh, into power. He's awesome. Telush. Is he awesome in my court? Yep. I don't know where he came from, but. He's a stupid. Anyway, just kind of things I'm thinking about. I might try to find some more, uh, some more games I like that a lot of people haven't done Let's Plays of. Uh, or just, like, funny games, you know. Um, if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. 